Lauren. I'm Angie. I'm the nutritionist at the University Health Center. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Angie. It's nice to meet you. Good. I understand that you just got your cholesterol levels checked as part of our free cholesterol screening during American Heart Month. Mm -hmm. Well, let me take this time to explain to you the results that you're going to be getting in the mail. Okay. Okay. Well, the lab test they gave you is called a lipid panel. It doesn't just check your cholesterol, it checks a couple other things as well. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that you'll see on your results is your total cholesterol. Okay. Now when you hear the word cholesterol, what do you think of? Mm, it's not usually good. Right, we bad. think bad, like we think heart disease. Mm -hmm. But cholesterol is not inherently bad. It's found okay. in our bloodstream, it's used to make certain hormones and cell membranes. So it's not bad, however, when those levels get too high, it increases your risk for heart disease and stroke. Okay. So it's important to know your numbers. The first number you see will be your total cholesterol, and that reflects okay. all the cholesterol in your body. Mm -hmm. That number should be under 200. Okay. If it's above that number, you have an increased risk for heart disease. Okay. Okay. The next number that you'll see on your lab results is going to be your HDL cholesterol. Okay. HDL stands for high, lipo high density lipoprotein, which you don't need to know about, but it represents your good cholesterol. Okay. So f opposite from your total cholesterol, you want this number to be high. Okay. The higher the number is, the less likely you'll get heart disease. Mm -hmm. So actually a low level increases your risk for heart disease. So you want your number for HDL cholesterol to be above 40. Okay. The next number you see will be your triglycerides. Mm -hmm. Triglyceride is also a fatty substance found in our bodies, and studies have shown that a high level can increase your risk for heart disease too. Mm -hmm. So you want your number to be under 150. Under 150, okay. Mm -hmm. The last number you see is your LDL cholesterol. Now that's your bad cholesterol. Right. It's your low density lipoprotein. And the higher the number is, the higher your risk of getting heart disease. Mm -hmm. For normal college aid students, your number should be below 130. Okay. Okay? But if you have an increased risk for heart disease, that number should be under 100. Okay. <clears throat> and what are some of those increased risks or risk factors for heart disease? Right. Some risk factors for heart disease are number one, smoking. Mm -hmm. That's probably the biggest risk factor for heart disease. Um, being overweight, lack of physical activity, having a history of early onset um, heart disease, like a family history. Okay. Um, also, if you have diabetes or high blood pressure, that okay. can increase your risk. Now, although you cannot change your family history, there are some lifestyle and diet factors that you can um, follow to reduce your risk for heart disease. Okay. And what are some of those changes that you make? Well, below the link on this website are some in is some information about diet and lifestyle factors that you can do to reduce your levels if they are high, but also, mm -hmm. you know, even if your levels are normal, it's important to start practicing heart healthy um, lifestyle factors now so you don't get heart disease later on in your okay. life. I'll have to take a look at those. Mm -hmm. And if you want some um, information that is like a handout or a brochure, we have those in the health promotion department on the first floor of the health center. Okay, great. Uh, if you do find your levels are high, though, mm -hmm. the first thing you need to do is make an appointment with your physician. Okay. You can also make an appointment with me, the nutritionist, to get some specific individual lifestyle and diet changes that you can make okay. to help reduce your levels. Okay. And if my levels are normal, then how often should I get my cholesterol checked after that? That's a great question. Starting at age 20, everyone should get their cholesterol levels checked every five years. Okay. All right, well, I think that's all that I have for today. So. Great. Well, thank you so much thank for you. participating in our free cholesterol screening. Thank you.